क्वेश्चन बेटा हियर गिवन दैट ए पैरेलल प्लेट कैपेसिटर इज मेड ऑफ यूजिंग ए टू प्लेट्स एंड द स्पेस बिटवीन द प्लेट्स इज 1 सेंटीमीटर एंड ईच प्लेट इज ऑफ स्क्वायर इन शेप हैविंग अ 0.2 मीटर एज अ साइड now they are connected these two are connected by a 50 volts of a battery this capacitor plates are connected by a 50 volts of battery then they are asking so many questions so we will understand the concepts one by one and then we will move on and mol and other following na everyone no problems right okay i am explaining you the problem simultaneously the concept yes 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 i made some question different so following everyone happy or not just tell me quickly and uh, correctly right happy or not right okay answer is 2 okay no beta this is multiple answer multiple option question there are uh, no it's a multiple questions so we have so many questions under the same point so now let us do one by one na here the distance of separation between the plates is given as 1 cm and each plate is of uh, a uh, square plate having a dimensions of 0.2 meter in the question number 1 what is a capacitance they are asking so i write capacitance as epsilon not a divided by of d where epsilon not value as i told you write it as 1 by 36 pi into 10 power minus 9 uh, okay it is 10 power minus 9 followed beta are you able to see this question everyone oh okay 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 refresh others refresh it now those who are not able to see this and into area of the each plate is a uh, it is length into breadth so it is a uh, 10.2 into 10 power minus 1 whole square because it is a square plate by distance of separation between the plates which is 1 cm let us write it in terms of the meter so can you find out nana here the value of this in terms of farad everyone the only numerical part you need to do it will you do this nana yes now let us see the next question what is the charge on each plate where you are connected this uh, capacitor to a battery of 50 volts now what they are asking charge on the capacitor very simple you are anyways getting the capacitance from the first question now using q is equal to c into v where you are finding the capacitance from above 50 volts is since the battery connected you can find out the amount of charge if required in terms of micro coulomb are you all following nana only numerical part i am leaving except of that this is really a easy question now the next one what is the energy stored in capacitor very easy how do you define the energy stored in complete space of capacitor it is half cv square right i if i want clear everyone yes half cv square r else q square divided by 2c r else half into qv these are all the alternate ways but i prefer this form because i know what is the capacitance i know what is the potential difference what you are connected so you can go for any form in fact clear and moreover if you want to define even this energy in terms of the electric field that is occupied in a complete space of a into d volume between the plates of capacitor in this space the amount of energy deposited in the form of the electric field can be calculated by using this expression which corresponds to total energy deposited in the capacitor which alternate way of the above equation but in terms of the electric field but if you want to calculate the energy only per one unit volume of the capacitor called as a energy density can be given by only half epsilon not into e square clear beta this is called as a energy per unit volume known as energy density i didn't remembered correctly but might be i have introduced this in my previous class correct so let us move to the next question beta what they have given in the next question now here in the next one what is uh, the uh, electric field between the plates of the capacitor what is the electric field between the plates of capacitor very simple how do you define the electric field between the plates of capacitor nana so you know that from evd relation yes from the evd relation you are connected this to a 50 volts of battery so potential difference between the plates of capacitor since you are aware of so you can find out by using the relation between ev that is strength of the electric field and potential difference are given by this correct nana 
it is 50 volts and distance of separation between the plates of capacitor is 1 centimeter so it is 5 into 10 power 3 newton per coulomb or volt per meter is a uh, the strength of electric field that is occupied between the plates of capacitor and now even if i know in terms of the sigma which is amount surface charge density or in terms of amount of charge on the plates of capacitor you can also define the strength of the electric field but we must choose the equation as this since i aware of the potential difference so it is easy enough to find out the strength of electric field Correct, Nana. Let's see the next one. What they're given. If a battery, uh, here is, uh, I'm reading the next part of the question. If the battery is disconnected, you are disconnecting the battery and then the plates are pulled apart to a separation of 2 cm, then what are all the above answers of the following, you know, uh, in a given question. So here, when you disconnect the battery, understand this carefully, my friends. You are disconnecting the battery beta. So when you disconnect the battery and uh, you are going to increase the distance of separation between the plates uh, from the distance of D to the distance of 2D or something, correct? If the distance of separation between the plates is doubled. So as there is no source of battery, since you are disconnected the battery, what charge already given to the capacitor, this amount of charge will be invariable. I mean, remains as a constant uh, as charge cannot be created or destroyed from the conservation principle this amount of charge what already given to the capacitor the same amount of charge remains on the capacitor plate but as you are increasing the distance of separation from one centimeter gap to two centimeter gap when distance of separation is increased definitely now the strength of electric field between the plates of capacitor will be changes as uh, exactly exactly better right so now you know that following everyone yes okay so what what they are asking is now find out yes exactly nana so since the surface charge density remains the same i'm sorry since the surface charge density as charge is same surface charge density since remains same so strength of the electric field between the plates of capacitor as independent of the distance of separation between the plates of capacitor so it is going to have same strength of electric field still after you double the distance of separation between the plates of capacitor but when you talk about the capacity of capacitor before and after changing the distance of separation now the new capacity will be epsilon not a times of 2d because now the distance is double than the distance of separation before of changing are you all understanding nana done better okay fine so can we write now now the capacity is definitely half times of the capacity before changing the separation between the plates of capacitor yes absolutely it is before separation it is c1 half times of that got understand it everyone and now you can find out now new energy of the capacitor as a half into cv square are q square by 2c since uh, the amount of charge remains on the capacitor plates are same but now the capacity is a uh, half that of the before capacity so q square divided by of 2c where it is c by 2 so your amount of energy is going to be double that of the before so amount of energy is increased than double that of the before clear everyone now the question is how does this energy is increased when you are disconnected the battery here the energy is increased because you are performing some amount of work as an external agent in displacing the plate of capacitor from the given initial distance to double the distance so your amount of work done in displacing the plates of capacitor is going to be increase the energy in the plates of capacitor so your amount of work done itself is equal to change in energy of the capacitor 